Now let's take a look at another way of managing multiple views, the tabbed application. Xcode has a built-in tabbed application template. Let's go ahead and use that. And we'll call this UI tab bar controller. We'll put it in our iOS for beginners folder. And let's just run it first to see how it looks on the screen. You can see that there's two tabs here at the bottom, the first tab and the second tab. And as you click each tab, it loads a particular view and shows it in the view section up here. So let's take a look at how that's done. In our project here, you see we have a first view controller, and a second view controller. We have a first view controller nib, and a second view controller nib. And for the tabs, we have an image for the first one at regular and 2x size, and an image for the second one at regular and 2x size. Where everything is set up is in the app delegate. So let's take a look at that. So in the app delegate did finish launching with options. We instantiate both the first view controller and the second view controller from their nibs. Then we create a tab bar controller and set its view controllers property to an array of view controller one and view controller two, and then set the windows root view controller to the tab bar controller. If we look at the first view controllers.m file, the only thing that's in here is something that actually sets the string of that tab and the image. So we go and get the string, and then we set the image by using UI image image named to retrieve the appropriate version of the image file. And similarly, in the second view controller, we do the same thing. So what would it take to add another view controller? Well, we do it this way. We come up to UI tab bar controller. And we say new file, and we'll create an Objective C class. We'll call it Third View Controller, and it's a subclass of UI View Controller. And we'll have this checkbox so we have a nib for the user interface. And we'll put it inside of our UI Tab Bar Controller project. And now we have a Third View Controller. So we also need to have images. So let's go ahead and duplicate the first image. So we'll do that by going out to the finder and selecting the first and first at 2x, right clicking and select duplicate. Now we have ones that are called copy. And so we'll come up to first copy and we'll call it third. And we'll come up to the first at 2x copy and we'll name that third at 2x. We'll close the finder, come back to our project. Add those files into the project. And now we've got our third. Let's sort all this by name so everything kind of comes up in order here. And then let's go into our second view controller.m file. Copy this code out of here. Go into the third view controller.m file. Paste that in and change the names. We'll go to our third view controller nib file and we'll put a label in it so we know we've got the right view controller on the screen. And then we come back to the app delegate and do the same thing that we did with view controller one and view controller two. So we'll copy this, create a third view controller. Third view controller, you notice this is an error because we need to import third view controller.h in order to get the definitions. Now that goes away. And then we simply have to change this to view controller three and then add that here. All right, that's it. Now we should have three tabs. There we go. First, second, and third. So to review, we used the tabbed application template. We looked and saw that inside the appdelegate.m file, it initializes each one of the view controllers, creates a tab bar controller, initializes its view controllers property with an array of the three view controllers that we initialized, and then sets the root view controller to that tab bar controller. For each view controller, we had two images, one for regular, one for retina, we had a .m file for the view controller that initializes the title and the image for the tab bar, and that's it.
and it automatically gives us logic inside the UI tab bar controller, which switches between the views automatically. And that's it for UI tab bar controller.